For now, Fabian Picardo has limited himself to saying that we're dealing with two individuals who are the ultimate beneficial owners of these entities and assets in Gibraltar. The chief minister told us that his understanding is the individuals in question were fated around the world by governments, including the UK's and those of most Western countries. Mr Picardo told GBC that Gibraltar has absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about that individuals such as these did business in Gibraltar, as the international business community was doing business with them and was seeking to attract individuals of this sort. He said we have to be careful not to superimpose the view that we have today to those professional who are doing this work perfectly legitimately from Gibraltar in the context of individuals who are not just not sanctioned at the time but were celebrated and fated by the UK government and those of other Western countries. For now, the two sanctioned individuals who have assets or entities frozen in Gibraltar remain anonymous.